video i think it's been like a week um i've been pretty busy with um my finals for my dynamics class but i finished yesterday so that's good news but um i'm starting another class i was supposed to start tonight but uh my professor canceled so i got a little bit more time to gain xp but he sent an email you know giving me you know the problems and some blah 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 I gotta do a quiz for Monday and some homework and stuff even though I don't even have the book or the material yet um, I just have to refresh on the stuff that I have learned in the previous courses because you have to have some prereqs for this course um, it's mechanics and materials uh, basically the thing after so statics but um, yeah as you can see I am back to good old Slayer uh, I took a little break kind of from Slayer um, what happened was I got too much more strength. The next day, Virago, the new boss, came out. Um, I camped him a little bit, actually a lot of bit, for the whole day pretty much. I didn't gain any any Slayer XP, I don't think, last Wednesday. Huh? I'd have to recheck that. But, um, yeah, so I did a little Virago. We got a wand split. I didn't record any of the drops or anything like that, but I guess you guys have to take my word for it. Um, it was a 13-man split, and it sold for 1.274 bill, and I think it was like a 98 mil split or something like that. Um, I ended up making a total of like 200 mil from Drago, and I called it quits because the items were like crashing pretty hardcore, and it, it was it was pretty hard to get a, a decent six to seven man team everybody like they wanted to do more than 10 man and that is like i'm not trying to be mean but the more people you have the more you have to split with people and the less money that you can make so i didn't like I, the only reason i went to virago was to make money it wasn't because i like bossing because i bossing isn't like the biggest thing for me um i like skilling obviously and I need money to skill, so I went to Virago, but uh, that explains that. So I did a little bit of Virago, and then I, when I couldn't like go with my team when they were taking a break or whatever, I would do some Slayer. So I did get like six mil Slayer this week, that was including um, doing Virago, made 200 mil from that. Um, I had, um, let's see. This past Tuesday and Wednesday, I was not slaying very much because I was preparing for my final exam, which I'm, I think I did pretty good on. Uh, I usually do good on the exams because um, I'll take like, I mean, I study. It's bottom line, but I do good because I study. But um, yeah, so that's what's going on with me and for Slayer. 135.5 this is Thursday night um, yeah since I'm done with that course um, usually when we start a new course it's like you go over the syllabus um, it's not really too like intense the first week so hopefully I can uh, start powering out Slayer again um, I'm really really stretching for the 200 mil uh, I don't know if this is a long run, but I'm, I'm hoping to get it before the new skill comes out. Um, so that would give me about five weeks. So, 65 mil XP in five weeks. I'm not sure if I can do it, but I will definitely try my hardest. I have been doing a lot of testing for Slayer this week. That's also why one, uh, my gains haven't been as good, is because I've been you know, testing stuff and I have to keep banking, et cetera, et cetera, uh, switching items to see which item is, is you know, uh, perfect for each task, because um, I want to get the, the most efficient XP that I can, um, so that I, 
you know, have time to do other things because I am in school, so I need to make time for that. Um, but I would still like to get really good, uh, or really decent Slayer games. Um, yeah, so I've been working on Attack, and I am 33.5. I suppose I got like 10 mil this week. I don't know. Something like that. But, um,. As you can see, I'm mailing Abby Demons, and that is because there was a nerf last week. Um, I haven't made a video since, but there was a nerf to autocast spells and mage, um, to where basically where you were hitting 1 to 2 Ks on all the monsters, now you're hitting 300s. So it is not efficient at all to do this task with um, Barrage, but it's also not that efficient to do it with me or mage rather. It just this task is like this is hands down the most annoying task. And that's because they teleport you around like this and it stuns you while you're trying to do a threshold. So you can't very like very minimal time will you be able to kill one like I just did there with destroy. Basically whenever you use destroy um, it'll hit once, it'll stun it, you'll get teleported, or it will teleport, and then you just don't hit another part of the fourth destroy. Like, the destroy hits four numbers, but you only hit the first one. And it, it really does, like, eat at your XP per hour or kills per hour, however you want to look at it. But, um, I wanted to let you know, um, that I'm going to, I'm going to make a spreadsheet of all my tasks that I do. And um, for the ones I don't do, I'm just gonna put either skip, or um, I'll put either skip or block. And like I'll just jot down how many, you know. There's some tasks that I haven't done. Like I've looked on, like I've Googled the the monster to the the Slayer XP, like how much Slayer XP it gives per kill, and how many life points it has. And let's say, for example, Greater Demons. Those are tasks you should skip, if not put on your block list. Um, and that's because they give you 142 Slayer XP per kill, which, you know, that's not too bad. But the thing is, it has 6,000 life points. So, um, let's do a comparison. Um, Jidinku, mutated Jidinku males, or uh, I can't remember if it's the Garter males, the highest ones. They're also. 6,000 light points, but they give you 210 um, Slayer XP per, so that's like a 70, you know, Slayer difference. That's per kill, so that's really, really bad. I would do m Mutated Jadinkos, uh, like you saw in my last video, um, but I would skip uh, Greater Demons, unless you wanted to do like Zambi Boss or something. Um, I'll put that rate in there too, I think it's like 110k an hour, that's like maximum focus at like the scuzzy pace, like the scuzzy pace, which um, it's very hard to obtain, like I have a hard time obtaining it sometimes, and you know, I'm not trying to like sound arrogant or anything, I'm just, I'm just saying like don't be, don't feel discouraged if you don't get exactly the rates that I do, like if I say I get an average of 150k Slayer an hour and you guys are getting like 110 to 115k, don't be discouraged. Just, you know, you're just not playing every, like, exactly the way I do where you don't have the same items. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it too much because like 115k Slayer an hour is still better than a lot of people will do. But, um, yeah, they, they did a couple nerfs since my last video, which is unfortunate, but at the same point in time, I'm s I am found a couple ways around it, um, different items to use. They nerfed the, uh, the uh, Amulet of Zealots in my last video, so I'm sorry if you guys bought one after you know I released that video saying that you know they're, they're good. Um, they nerfed them on the release of Virago. So I'm sorry to anybody who bought that and spent the 40k or whatever tokens it was for that. Um, I would refund you if I could, but I can't, so. Um, yeah, sorry about that, guys. But, um, I say but um a lot, don't I? Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go to the gear now. 
Uh, as you can see, I changed my outfit again. Yeah, I know. That's funny. But, um, basically, I will have this all in the spreadsheet, and I'm going to put the spreadsheet, uh, a picture of the spreadsheet at the beginning of all of my episodes once I actually make the spreadsheet. But for now, you're gonna, you guys are going to have to listen to my voice and try to remember um, everything I say about the gear setup and stuff. But um, I think for each episode, I'm going to do one Slayer task because I talk so freaking much. And it, it's just, it just gets so long. Like, my last video was 26 minutes, and I was talking the whole time. And, like, it does kind of hurt my throat after a while. Um, and that's just one task, or, like, two tasks. So I don't want to do, like, three tasks in a video and have, like, a 40-minute video for you guys. I, mean, I wouldn't mind it. It's just the upload time takes so long and the editing time doesn't take that long but it does take a little bit longer than like a 10 minute video um so to the gear setup obviously a full slayer helmet um i have a completionist cape you could bring a max cape or a skill cape or a uh a czar cape the fire cape number two i don't know the name of it um you guys know what i'm talking about um Main hand drag or mace. If you can't use that, um, use a chaotic or use a chaotic maul because they have a lot of abilities that are pretty much the same. Um, let's see if we can look and find some here. Like Hurricane, that is a nice, nice uh, ability to use. Nice threshold. Let's see, you got Smash. It's a two hander. Um, you can still use the Berserk, obviously. Um, you can't you you can use Slice. Let's see if you can use Sever. Yep, you can use Sever. So you you can use a lot of them. I would just switch out the uh, let's see Assault. Can you use that? Yeah, you can use Assault. You just can't use Destroy. What I would do is I would change. Smash your weapon in the ground beneath you, dealing up to 100% weapon damage to all adjacent targets, also training 5%. Um, no, I wouldn't use that. That's an ultimate. I'm looking for thresholds. I don't use two-handers. Like, you could you could use a Chaotic Maul. Um, if you're going to go with Chaotic, you, you should use the Maul, I think. Um, or, you know, you could test you know, the rapiers or whatever, but if you can, I definitely advise you to get Drygors. Um, if you're looking for, like, if you have Torva and you don't have Drygors, I would sell your Torva and, and get Drygors because um, I use Bandos and it's completely fine. Like, it doesn't affect you that much. But, um, yeah, so Drygor Mace and offhand Drygor Longsword. Uh, I think I explained this in the comments, but the reason why is because the Dragor Mace, um, you hit first. You hit first, and then you use an ability. So, because it's fastest, the type fastest, you will hit it, um, obviously faster. Even though it's less damage, it works out to be, uh, more kills per hour. Um, I don't know exactly, like, the formula behind it. But I'm pretty sure it's because you hit first. Uh, like, you'll hit faster with it. Not necessarily your abilities, but like the first hit. So, say you get like a. Like, you hit in a thousand. A, th a hit of 1,000. That's an extra 1,000 to get your kill faster. Um, and the reason why you don't use the mace offhand is because you want. Uh, like, your abilities usually they start with your, your main hand. Unless it's a two handed ability like Havoc or destroy um it'll take into account the damage dealt by your offhand so if you have an offhand mace which is 400 something damage um 551 is a lot better and it will yield more damage per second um or more kills per hour however you want to look at it um with that combination and that is hands down the best combination as of 7 11 2013 now that we got that out of the way, I have a Fury, 
and the reason I have a Fury is because, obviously, um, you can't... Oh! Oh, no, pick it up, 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 pick it up. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, cool. Alright, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, the Fury, okay. The reason why we're using the Fury is because, obviously, the Emio Zealots is, uh, nerfed. <laughs> it's no longer good to use, so, uh, that's living proof, um, otherwise I'd be using it. But, um, it has crit... Uh, percentage 4.2 all, which isn't as good as the Saradoman Whisper or, you know, like respectively the Arcane Stream Necklace and the Ranger and the But the thing is, when you bring a Yak, you only have so much room. And, um, what, 0.3% crit isn't that much, so it saves more time uh, to not bank that much or to not. Uh, yeah, not bank that much. Like, you won't bank as much if you don't have to switch items all the time. Like, um, for this task, I do have to bank quickly, um, because, you know, I have to carry the Infernal Arms, and that doesn't leave very much room for, you know, my Overload Flask, my Prayer Renewal Flask, and a couple of, you know, Super Prayer Restor Restores. Super, Super Restore Flask. Sorry. Um, and this is what my yak looks like, obviously, but, um, yeah, so, um, having items that you don't have to switch all the time really, really does help, so you don't have to bank. Um, I know that I've said in the past that I can go, like, four hours without banking, but that's not completely true, because if I'll get, like, if I get an Abyssal Demon task, or a Necreal task, or um, a Black Demon's task, I'll have to bank, or actually a Dark Beast task, because um, I actually started canning for those, and um, so I have to go grab the cannon from the bank, because I, I'm not going to carry a cannon, you know, you can't carry a cannon into the Curdell dungeon, you can't bring a cannon up here, or etc, etc, so, um, I would have to bank for those, and for Black Demons, the Infernal Arms, and the Cannon, um, so I have to bank, so I'll quickly bank for those tasks, but other than that, I'm not banking, um, for like two to three hours, so I'll go like maybe an hour and a half without banking, and then I'll get like one of those tasks, and I'll have to, you know, quickly, quickly bank, just, you know, bam, 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 spam all of my mage gear into the bank, and take out, you know, seven Infernal Urns, and then go to my task, which t literally takes like 35 seconds, but, um, like if you're not careful, that's where you lose all of your XP, is between banking and getting a new task. That's why, um, I'm contemplating, uh, you know, stopping doing Dark Beasts at the Temple of Light with a cannon. I'm, just, I'm still trying to figure out if it's if it's worth it to stop doing that and gather ferocious rings from um, Curdle Dungeon because uh, if you if you waste a minute every single task going to the fairy ring and running there that's you know three to four minutes every hour you're wasting and like I've been playing 12 to 15 hours that's a good hour at least that is gone because I was running back and forth, and if I had Ferocious Rings to supply me, I could save myself an hour and get a little bit more XP. But I would also lose a little XP because I kill them, kill Dark Beasts slower. Um, in Curdle Dungeon, I would kill around 40 every 5 minutes, but in the Temple of Light, I would kill around 50 to 55. Um, and there will definitely be videos on that. Uh, I'm not too concerned that people know my methods. Um, from what I can see, everybody else around me is getting around 100 to 110k slay an hour, and, like, if they see my videos and they get more XP, they go up. Um, you really have to exert yourself, and, uh, you really have to put a lot more effort into Slayer doing my method, but it is 150% more XP per hour. Um, well, not more, but it's 150% of the XP that you would normally get, if that makes sense. Um, normally 100k, my method 150k. Solid, 
that's including banking, that's including everything. That's a consistent 150K an hour. If you do the tasks that I will show you on the spreadsheet. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And holy crap, I went on a tangent. I have to finish this gear setup. <laughs> so for this task, this is my setup. I will show you guys my setup, every task I do, and there's gonna be one task every single you know episode that I make. And I will try to remember to tell you guys you know my total XP, all of the XP that I'm working on. Uh, obviously, I'm doing Slayer pretty much every episode. So, to the, the gear setup, I have a Bando's chest plate, more Tanya legs number four. I told you guys in the past the reason why I have that is it's actually a 20%, no, no, it's a 10% boost uh, to your XP gain in Mauritania, you know, around that area. So, in the Slayer Tower, you'll get 20% uh, more Slayer, 10% more Slayer XP. Holy crabs. And then this contract, make sure you you get the special Slayer contract. I showed you how to get that before. Um, it's a, it's actually 20%. So right now, I think in another video I said it was like 30%, but I, I, I looked it up, it, it's actually 20%. So it's a total of 130% of the XP that you normally would get from an Abbey Demon, which is like 250 something, I don't, I don't know. But here I'm getting 360.5 Slayer XP a kill. Um, now, these Rage Fire boots, uh, you can swap them with pretty much any kind of boot. The reason why I have those is for uh, tasks like Black Demons or Dark Beasts, where you need to have a little bit of melee armor and also the damage, uh, damage boost from boots and gloves aren't that significant. Uh, to my knowledge, I've been using these for a, a little while, and for my knowledge, it's, it doesn't affect you that much. So um, feel free to do that. I think these actually look pretty cool. The static gloves have a little purple glow on them, and it, it kind of looks pretty cool with my ghostly. Uh, you guys feel free to differ with me, but I'm going to be wearing them. So as to this ring, sixth stage circuit. Now. Stay tuned to my other episodes because this ring will change. Um, these items will, will change uh, respectively to uh, certain tasks. So I want you guys to, to know what items to wear and to be aware, you know, of that. Um, the only items that I'll probably be wearing the whole time are the Amulet Fury and, you know, my completion stick and these boots. Um, and obviously it's like, okay. Okay, I got. I, I was wrong. So basically, um, that is that is my uh, setup for Abyssal Demons to the XP. I get. I'll be realistic with you guys. Uh, 35, 35 Abyssal Demons. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. Sometimes I get 40, but the thing is, these are so annoying and they move around a lot to where I find uh, a lot of my five minute tests are about 35 so we'll go with 35 um, now 35 times 360 I don't know who is that okay, let me go get my calculator I'll be right back okay 35 times 360.5 that's 12.6k every 5 minutes for Slayer. Multiply that by 12 because there's 12 in an hour, obviously. Uh, this is how I do all my 5 minute tests. And I do a lot of them, so they're very, very consistent. And 35 is, is uh, a very reasonable number. Um, you guys would probably be able to do probably even more than 35 because I find myself sometimes, you know, I do a little bit over 40, I'll do like 41, but I have to really, really be on my game, and let's face it, after five hours of Slayer, forget it, two hours of Slayer, you're spamming all of these abilities, and your focus just, it just plummets, you know, it's like, uh, a logarithm graph, pretty much. <laughs> okay, so... It's about 151k Slayer an hour, that's at the 35 rate. Now, if you do happen to kill 40 every 
five minutes. Let's take a look at the rate. That'd be 14.4k every five minutes, and it would be 173k per hour, which is a nicer number. But you know, we can't just say the higher number. We have to take into effect that sometimes you're going to be slower, and sometimes I'm going to be slower. Uh, we're talking about me, obviously. Sometimes I'm going to be slower, so the XP rate's going to be lower. Wow, that rhymed. But if we take the average of both of those, that is 162k an hour. So, one of my friends is getting me. Um, let's see. So if you take the average, it's 162k an hour, which is pretty good. But considering the fact that when you barrage them, I could get like 240k an hour. I killed about 35 before the nerf. Um, and that's because they nerfed Mage as well as them nerfing the amulet of uh, Zealots as well as I didn't mention this before they did a 5% nerf to all Slayer monster XP so instead of 378 Slayer XP per Abyssal Demon you're now getting 360 so you know it went from 230 to 240k to uh, 150 to 170k. So this is um, one of the only tasks that really, really got affected by the nerf uh, for me, at least. A lot of the other tasks they were only like a like a two percent nerf for me because of the setup that I'm using, and it's very, very effective. Now um, this is a scrimshaw of, uh, of vampirism, and I'll touch up upon that, you know, in another video. I don't use that for this task. Um, you're gonna want to be using turmoil for this task obviously and soul split when when you uh oh my god what's my turn from soul split when you need health like half health that's when I soul split so basically that's you know that's it for this episode I don't know if it's I don't even remember if I made episode eight yet I, I think I did I think this is going to be episode 9, but it's going to be pretty long. Um, yeah, this will be episode 9. Um, so, yeah. Um, total XP, 2.23 bill. 2.23 bill. Um, and rising fast, definitely. Uh, now that I've done my finals, which I did do good on. I believe I did good on. Um, I have 10 mil from defense being 200 mil, 22 mil from HP being 200 mil, and 64.4 from Slayer being 200 mil. And that about wraps up XP on the Horizon Episode 9. I cannot believe we are almost at double digits. I don't think I've ever done a series with double digits yet. So, and this one's going to be lasting for a while, a long time, because. Um, as long as I'm making videos, I'm probably going to be putting out um, XP on the Horizon videos because that's just me. I'm, I am XP on the Horizon. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you watched this far, say, doozily, good burger. Yeah, yeah, say that in, in the comments. Yeah, okay. All right. Yep, bye.